This is, you see why mommy needs a special day, don't you? You see why mommy needs a special day. Hi. The dog's escaping. Jeffy, get in the house. Somebody left the gate open. It's not me. Not me. Not me. I think it was you. Welcome to the quarantine salon. In the quarantine salon, we're going to learn to take care of and serve our mommies just as Jesus hey uh, instructed us to more dramatic ooh. Ooh. Molly, dramatic ooh. Why is her ooh so weird? So right before the Last Supper, Jesus gathered all of his uh, men around, all of his disciples around, and uh, he did something very different, very uh, special. He got down on his hands and knees, Aww. and um, he washed their feet. He, he washed their feet. It is disgusting. You're right. <laughs> because back in the day, when Jesus and all his disciples were walking around, they were stepping in things like dirt, and water, and, and mud, and, mud, and poop. <laughs> so it was meant to be the servant's job um, to when someone came in the house that the servant would wash the feet. Like those aren't feet. I mean, show me wash. Wash, wash, wash. They would wash, <laughs> they would wash the feet of the guest who came in. And so Jesus being the master, Jesus being uh, at that point, uh, uh, all his disciples knew uh, the Son of God. He got down on his hands and knees, and he washed the feet of every one of his disciples. And then after he does that, he says this. He says, um, when he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and returned to his place. Do you understand what I have done for you? Do you understand why Jesus would wash someone's feet? So, to make them clean? Ooh, Ellis says to show he was washing away their sins. Ooh. Ooh. Molly, dramatic ooh. Ooh. Let me hear a dragon roar. Ooh. <laughs> he says this, now that I, your teach, your Lord and your teacher have washed your feet, you should also wash another's feet. I have set an example that you should do as I have done for you. Wow. Oh, so if Jesus, who was God, served others and did gross things to help others, guess what he's telling us we should do? Do gross things to help others. Yeah. That no person is above another person that they shouldn't be serving. If Jesus, who is God, did it, mm -hmm. then absolutely everyone. One of the ways we want to serve them, we're not going to ask you to wash their feet. Although, if your mama wants you to wash her feet, guess what you should do, Molly Marie? Wash her feet. You're about to wash her feet. Mama, if you're watching this and you want that kid to wash your feet, I know. I know how to wash No excuses. No excuses. Jesus did it. Everybody, Jesus did it. Jesus did it. If Jesus did it, Jesus, I can't snap. You can't snap, you can't roar. Oh, she can roar. If Whoa. Jesus did it, then your kid Whoa. can do it. Thank you, Annabelle. Uh, but instead of washing their feet, we thought it would be nice if you uh, painted their nails. What are some other ways that you can serve mama on this day? Now is our thinking time, nobody talk. Everybody grab a bubble and think about ways, even you watching grab a bubble in Jesus' name like this. <gasps>
<laughs> He's hard to think like that. <gasps> Why is Sammy plugging her nose? Do you think better like that? Are you under the water? All right. Everybody get into your thinking bubble under the water. It goes like this. <gasps> All right, come back up out of the water. <laughs> Swim back up. <laughs> Ways that you can serve mama. You um, can make her coffee for her in the morning. Make her breakfast in bed so she doesn't have to get up and so she doesn't have to make breakfast. Don't wake her up though. Yeah. One thing you can do to serve mama is don't wake her no, up. No, let her sleep in. Annie Bell. Don't wake her up. Don't wake mama up. <laughs> don't wake mama up. That could be a nice way to serve her. What's something else you can do to serve mama? Um, only, only if you know how to make dinner or drive the car. Those are only times that you should do those. You can clean things up. And Ella was saying not just clean things up, but clean things up when she doesn't have to tell you. All right, but right now, why don't we show you the easiest way to serve mama? And that is gonna be to paint her nails. Ooh. Let me see fingernail wiggles. All right, in your packet, you're going to find three different nail painting things. Hand me. This is going to be your. Um, these are nice. Okay. So inside, you have little cloths. No, they smell like nail polish remover. It says strawberry. Well, they're trying to make it smell like strawberry, but you know what it smells like? Nail polish remover. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It smells like nail polish remover. Oh, that's so stinky. That is a stinky. And we have a lovely restored church um, glossy blue. And then if you're going to a fancy salon, you're absolutely going to need a clear coat on top. This is the biggest mistake that people make yes. getting their nails done. The biggest mistake that people make getting their nails done. That's completely wrong. Yes. You, <laughs> you, you put on the blue that dries and then you put on the clear one so it doesn't chip. If you put a sparkly on, you have to put this on top of the sparkly. But right now, what I'd like you to do, if you have yours, they need to shake. Beat after me. Oh, a milkshake. Oh, a milkshake. A sticky, sticky waffle. A sticky, sticky waffle. A mozzarella pizza. A mozzarella pizza. All the eggs, all the eggs are broken. All the eggs, all the eggs are broken. All right. Um, so I think there's something that needs to happen. If there is another grown-up in your house, then you're gonna need to get them to help you. Because you need to practice on someone before you go to mama. Okay? I'm gonna practice on you because only other grown-ups. Well... Great, so they're gonna practice on me. <laughs> is it funny? <laughs> <laughs> So there's a couple of things I want to make sure you do. I'm actually going to practice on my left hand first. This might be the first way that you do it. You practice on your left hand and then have somebody else, and then you can practice on somebody else's hands. Mm -hmm. So let me give you a couple tips first. Once we give it a nice shake and it needs to get a nice shake every single time, the blue one actually has a little ball inside of it, which helps break up any of the nail polish. Yeah, the ball moves through it and it kind of mixes up all the colors. So when I unscrew, I always make sure that I make sure there's nothing dripping. No drip. No drip. Drips are bad. No, no, no drip. No, no, no. Drips are bad. When we do our nails, we always start at the cuticle and we pull backwards. The cuticle is here. Close. This is the part that kind of connects our fingernail to our hand. So we start here. Now we pull back. We start here, pull back. We start here and pull back. It should take about three swipes. Ooh, that looks. That looks good. Mm. 
Mm, that's nice. That is nice. That is nice. Um, go to the cuticle and pull back. Molly, go to the cuticle and do what? Pull back. Go to the cuticle and pull back. Go to the cuticle and pull back. And you notice I have not dipped back in yet. I got two fingers done before I need to dip again. Don't you put too much nail polish on mama's finger. You hear me? <laughs> Jesus was very careful when he washed those feet. He washed off the poop, he washed off the dirt, he washed off all that camel spit. All right, I like what Sammy's doing. Sammy's giving it a shake. Oh, a milkshake. A shake. Oh, a milkshake. A milkshake. A milkshake. Mm. <laughs> a milkshake. Uh, all right, she gave it a nice shake. Now she's wiping, wiping, making sure there's no drips. No <laughs> drips. No drips at all. Wipe it all off. Mm. Oh, I'm just checking. Sammy is starting at the cuticle and pulling back right at the middle. I don't want to look at the I want you, Sammy, to push the... Now, you've got a little bit. One, a tip I like to do um, is you just take your finger here and you wipe ah. around the nail, and that pulls anything extra off that was around the tip of the nail. Ooh, you're not tapping it around. It's just one stroke and pull. Okay. So go to the cuticle, and you can push against the cuticle. Push, pull. Push in, pull back. Okay. Push in, pull back. Like, you should touch this part of my nail, okay. this cuticle part. Push in, and pull back. Yep, give it a couple wipes. Okay. Push into the cuticle. Good. Pull back. That's... No. Mm. <laughs> Feeling restored church fabulous today. This is Annabelle. Annabelle, how old are you? No. She's four. She's four. That's the first thing. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. All right. All done shaking. On the tape. Good. Open. And now what? Wipe it. Wipe it. Excellent. Wipe it. So no drips. so good. All right. Perfect. Good. Now, push against it. Remember we push again. Oh, she's blowing on it now. This is, you know, we are in full Jesus server. I mean, Jesus was washing feet. So, I, no, you don't just randomly throw a paper. You just ruined the whole thing. You ruined the whole thing. He did a little bit more. Shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 shake. All right. You should put the nail polish here. You don't want to hold the nail polish when you take the top off because something could spill. Always have it sitting on the table. Okay. Now you can slide over here so you can see my hand. There, pull back. Good. Push. Oh, I'm gonna go all the way to the beginning of my nail. There, right there. Good. And pull back. One more spot. Oh, we don't never paint into the middle of the nail. We want to start where it gets close to my skin and pull to the end of the nail. Okay. Start where it's close to my skin and pull to the end of my nail. All right. How do we do? If you have any extra and your finger doesn't wipe it off, that's what you have these for. Take one out and just dab it around. That's why I like these so that they don't make a very big mess. Mm -hmm. You can just pull out one teeny tiny one and just kind of dab. to see that we have a little bit of a bubble on the end that just means there was too much paint on the paintbrush or only whatever we call it yeah. so we definitely need to dab that off you if you get a bubble like that you need to wipe everything off of the brush okay. get it as smooth as possible and then paint my nail again with nothing on it so it just smooths it out so pretend like you're painting it and it will just kind of smooth out that bubble That's cool. okay all right 
So now once this is all dry, and these are already dry in this hand, once one hand is dry, the other one is, you do the exact same thing with the clear, and that will stop it from chipping. Because if you look at these, I already have some chips from moving around. So I gotta be very, very careful. You have to make sure mama doesn't move her hands the whole time or else she gets chips, okay? So now the clear will make sure that it doesn't come off and it'll make it fabulously shiny. Mm -hmm. But you do it the exact same way. Serve her by giving her a little manicure, make her some coffee, um, put her show on her tablet. Maybe set out a candle so things smell nice. Um, make a nice treat for her. Uh, make a snack for her when maybe during the week when she gets done from her work. Mama would also like it if you told her one thing you loved about her every morning for this whole week. That would be a nice way to serve her. Hey, our kids. Pastor Thomas's hands here. I wanted to show you a couple examples of what you're gonna create for your, uh, your mother. You'll see these three examples in your packet. There's, if mothers were flowers, I pick you. There's, uh, nice and simple, as beautiful as you. And then there is one with the wishing flower, I wish for no other mommy or mother but you. If you want to use any other words, there's a list of different words that you might want to use so that you can spell them uh, correctly in the packet as well. What's special about these is they're going to be very simple, um, but they're made with your fingerprints. And that's something that mommy's always appreciated. It marks your age. Um, it's made unique by you. Nobody else could make this but you. And that's something that mommies and mothers and grandmothers really appreciate is that it could only come from you. So even though I'm gonna show you a template and kind of give, show you these examples of what I made, it's still yours is gonna be completely special to you and to your mother. So you're gonna get three different colors and you're going to get a black marker. Uh, you're also going to be getting a canvas and you'll be getting a collection of index cards. The index cards are to practice. You need to practice. This is your final product. These cards are for you to practice so you can decide which design you like, practice the spacing, see what it's like with different parts of your finger. You need to practice. So. The index cards are for you to practice. All right, I'm gonna show you a quick simple one here um, so you can see exactly how you're going to do this. These markers are meant to be like stamps. So if we are going to do the I wish for no other mommy but you, I'm going to do all of my black lines first. Do black lines first. Okay, black lines first. Black lines first. On any card I do, it's the black lines that I want to do first. So if I, then from here, I'm gonna draw the center of my flower. And then from here, I'm gonna put a bunch of the lines that you see on those wishing flowers that you have. And I'm going to just do a whole bunch of them and not worry about what it looks like because this is going to be a flower, a messy flower. These are all different sizes. Extend this all the way there. And it starts to look a little bit like a spider. But the important part is that you have them coming from all spots and the important part is that you have ones that are short and ones that are long. Now it looks pretty weird from here. Um, let's see, I might need some longer ones there. Looks pretty weird from here. Once I add some color to it, it gives it kind of a nice special treat. Now I think I might also put a couple stems on it, even though these type of flowers don't have stems. I do it just because, just because. 
You can see on my fingers I've already been working. Pick one finger for each color and I'm going to really color the tip of it. And while it's wet, I'm gonna put it right down and make my fingerprint dot there. The quicker you can get it down, the better it's going to be, the more you can control it. Get it nice and wet and give it a push. Switch over to another color, purple finger. It's important, I think, that you don't mix your fingers so you don't get the, you can see the colors very, very clearly. So your colors don't start to smush together. So from there, I might throw, I probably won't put more than two colors up top for there, but if I have a green, I might throw that down here in the leaves. And I might even take my finger and do some kind of green, like just kind of squishing my finger, like sliding it up so it looks like grass. Okay, what's nice about this is um, you've made it, it looks like you, it's made from your own fingerprints, and from there I will add in whatever phrase I want to say. I like the wishing one for this because this is a wishing flower. I wish for no other mother but you, or mommy but you, or mama but you. So uh, practice a couple, decide on which ones you like. I think this one looks very pretty. Um, having the different um, dots and different sizes of flowers, but same thing, I do the black first, do my lines first, and then I go in with my colors and I add that. These are nice and simple ones. If you have a younger child and you just wanna do one stem and get one really good fingerprint there, then draw around it. That, could, that works for um, younger fingers or younger hands. So if you're a mommy and you're helping somebody out with this, or you're an older kid and you're helping somebody out, this might be um, a nice simple one to make with a nice simple wording on it. So these are your supplies. Make this nice, take the time. Jesus served, Jesus took the time, Jesus sat with every single disciple. He washed every single one of their feet um, to make sure that they knew what their job was. Their job was to serve the way he served. You making this card, you putting effort into it, you uh, going through practice cards and you picking out just the perfect one and you putting your own love and your own fingerprints and your own touch in this, make this very important. At a time when we are quarantined in and a time when mommy has really been uh, doing extra to take care of you, I think this is a really a great gift that she will always remember.